Hello people, got me sent some old school bit of machinery here for allotment, uh, paid 60 quid for it. It's uh, from the 1960s, 1961, they started making these. Uh, it's a Howard 200. I like my old school machinery, because it's relatively simple, and it don't fucking break as easy as the shit that they make today. So obviously, the task for me today is to try and get it up and running. Um, I'll show you a little bit of what it's about. I found the uh, belt pretty interesting, like the linked belt. That's pretty cool. Uh, I'm just rubbing the flywheel off because it's rusty. It does have a spark, but I do need to rub the connection off that goes to the spark plug as well. Old school stop switch there. It's basically just spring-loaded switch to earth the um, spark plug out. Like I say, old school fucking mechanics, this thing. It's got self-drive as well. One-wheel drive, two-wheel drive. This lever here. Um, if you can... That, that I didn't gauge it to one wheel drive and then if you could fucking push it over that way that's two wheel drive it's got this knob here you pull this lever in it lifts the engine up like that as you can see and what that does is it engages the belt and obviously that then engages the gearbox drive gear straight into the blades there's a bit of what looks to be maybe gearbox oil or some sorts like that I won't really determine any leaks until I actually get the thing starting and moving. But obviously, you know, you're talking a 60 year old machine, the seals are going to be dry, old as fuck, do you know what I mean? I know they're a pain in ass to get out as well. And they're also relatively expensive, like 25, 30 quid a pop a seal. So, you know, for fucking hell, you're talking like nearly 120 quid to uh, get all the seals replaced in that and behind the wheels as well. So, yeah, it's a bit of a task in hand, like. But I won't, I won't worry myself too much on that just yet. Obviously, for me, it's a case of getting it running, getting it started. Um, I know it hasn't been started in fucking many years because when I got it, man, like I smelt the tank straight away and it smelt fucking disgusting. It certainly didn't smell like fuel, that's for sure. So it could have been 20 years easily since this thing's been man. Do you know what I mean? I got it off an old woman who, unfortunately, her old man had passed away, like, so... It did come with a little plough as well. Um, it doesn't really have anywhere to fit the plough. I'm thinking maybe it's come off some sort of other rotivator. And I do, I have had a look into maybe trying to fit it and you can buy like this fucking hook thing that you can put on it to try and fit it. Whether it'd fit this small ass thing, I don't really know. I mean, it weighs a bit anyway. That's what you want with rotivators, something that weighs something, not these piss pot. Have you seen them little two stroke fucking bag of bollocks that you see that, it, I don't break soil up man it's basically if you want finer soil that's all it's good for if you want to break soil up this is the machine that you want do you know what I mean well like I said I'm just going to rub this flywheel down I'll show you a little after result of that put the casing back on I am going to oil down the pull start cable uh, because it is fucking um, dry really dry and solid do you know what I mean hard to pull out so it's restricting um, quite a lot so I'm going to, uh, like I said, clean the firewheel off, sort the pull start out. I may take the coil off, I don't know, it doesn't really look too bad. But I will clean the contact up there as well. Uh, the spark plug looks good as well. I've you, you always can determine how a thing was ran from the colour of the bottom of the spark plug. Usually you're looking for a brownie colour. That's the best thing, if we can get that like that there. You know, if you if it's whitey ash or really wet and black, you know, it's running wrong. Nice and brown is what you're looking for. So, yeah, it's a little project. Hopefully I get it running and I'm thinking of hiring it out to people on the allotment for 25 quid a day or something like that. It seems worth it. You know, it's compact as well. And well, like I say, it weighs a fucking ton. It's relatively heavy. So, yeah, I'm just going to wipe the flywheel down now. Obviously, it's never really going to come out the best, you know what I mean? When you look at that there, and then you look at that there, so, you know, it's not what you want, but we just want as much of that shite off as we possibly can. I'm going to show you this quickly as well. It is a oil filter that 
uh, sorry, an air filter that takes oil, and it's called an oil bath air filter. And what it does is it pulls air in and it forces the air to go 180 degrees into a bath of oil. Obviously, with the rotavator kicking up dust and dirt and shit like that, you know, that is basically what you want to catch all that dirt and that dust. Uh, it has got a weird ass um, filter in it, possibly horsehair, I could be wrong. If you're looking there, it's some hair of some kind, that. Can't be sure, but the guy was certainly old school who had the uh, rotavator. And these are the main points you want to be rubbing off on the flywheel, because these are where the magnets are on the flywheel. This is when, once it meets the coil, that's when it'll spark. Uh, I just like to make sure that it's all rust free, you know how it is, but... Yeah, it's got to make sure I tidy these up. There you go, it's relatively clean now, we'll... Uh, Put the pull start casing back on now and um, start getting everything assembled. Put the tank back on, put the car back on, put some fuel in it, and fingers crossed we can start to get this bitch fired. We may have a pro hopefully, fucking, we can get some fuel in carb because firing it from a drive carb could be a pain in the ass. So, fingers crossed, we can get this shit sorted. So, with the pull start. Try and grab hold of it and pull it out as much as I can. Lucky Jesus. It's fucking absolutely dry. Proper. Just put a little bit of that in there. What I'll do as well is I'll turn it over. And stick a little bit in there. It's just dry. May need to take it off and wind the spring up a little bit more. And the way you wind up a fucking uh, pull start is what you do is you take the handle off and you feed the, uh, the pull start cord back through out of here and then what you do is you start to turn it around you, don't, you, don't, you might have to actually take it off there is a couple of a few screws on the outside here that you don't you might have to take it off like but yeah just try and loosen that up a little bit as you can see now no sailing there nice and uh Nice and loose again, that. Right, so I'll put the um, casing back on, tank back on, and then I um, put everything back together and I'll fire the video back up when we're ready to fire the thing, see if it'll fire up. Well, I've got it back together. I've probably spent that stuff and now we're just trying to fire it up. As you can see, we've got this exhaust here. It is, yeah, totally the wrong exhaust for this, uh, well, for this size engine anyway. Um, can't get it fired, I've chucked some fuel down the spark plug hole, which is what you do if you really want to see if an engine's firing. Um, but I just don't think I'm getting a strong enough spark. I know there's a spark there because, again, I touched the spark plug and I got a shock. I don't know whether it's the spark plug or the coil wire or the coil or what. But for some reason, we ain't got a spark. Can you just hold that for me, mate? There, just hold it on. Yeah, that's it, so it's, it's on there. I'll just show you now. Usually you get a nice decent spark, but we ain't getting nothing. But the spark is there. I don't know if it's the coil or the actual spark plug. We'll try to find somewhere just to wedge it. There we go, that's perfect, right. Just turn it off. Right. Just aim it on this bit here, mate. That's it. Right. You should, even on camera, you should be able to get a decent view. But it's absolutely... No spark there. So yeah, unfortunately we've run out of light at the minute. Yeah. Yeah, we have, haven't we, mate? Well, we'll come back to it tomorrow, won't we? And we'll, mm -hmm. we'll try and fix it tomorrow. Yeah. 
But yeah, I probably think either coil or wire. Smells like wire. gas. I mean, petrol. Because <coughs> we put so we put some petrol in the in the head, mate, just yeah. to see if it fire up. So yeah, there's gonna be a part two to this video. Try and get the beasts started up. Yeah. Catching a bit, people. Peace.